In this video, I'm sharing with you how to properly import media in the new Premiere Pro 2022 update. So when you first open up Premiere Pro, you're gonna go ahead and create a new project. And then I'm gonna go ahead and name this whatever I wanna name it. And then I'm gonna select the location to where I want to save this project to and just click choose. And over here on the left side of the screen are a bunch of different folders that you can pull all of your media from. You have some sample media that you can play around with if you like, but I specifically saved everything to the desktop. So that's where I'm gonna be pulling my media from. So I'm just gonna go in here and select all of the media that I want. And then on the right side of the screen over here, you have two options. So you can create a new bin if you want to. So that means whenever my media has been imported to Premiere, it's all gonna be located in one folder. You also have the option of creating a new sequence. So based off of the order that I selected these clips in, it's going to add those clips automatically onto the timeline once those clips have been imported. So whenever I create a bin, I'm just gonna go ahead and toggle this on, drop this down, and I'm gonna name whatever I want my folder to be, and I'm going to select create. And as you can see over here on the project table, these clips were all dropped into one folder. If I don't wanna create a bin and I just wanna add these clips automatically onto the timeline when they're imported, all I'm gonna do is untoggle the new bin option, toggle on create new sequence, and then I'm going to select the clips in the order that I want them to appear on the timeline. So I want this to be clip number one, clip number two, three, four, and five. And just remember, that first clip that you import, the first clip that you selected, is going to be what your sequence settings actually are, and I'll explain. So this first clip that I selected was shot at 23.976 frames per second, and it's also a 1080p clip. So that means that my timeline is 1080p, 23.976 frames per second. And what that means for me is that I need to go through and any of the clips that I have that may have been shot at 4K, they may need to be scaled down in order to properly fill the frame. So just keep in mind that very first clip that you select is going to dictate the settings for your entire sequence. Now I know a lot of people still prefer the traditional way of importing media into Premiere. And if you wanna do that, all you're gonna do is first untoggle this create new sequence option. Make sure that you don't have any media selected and you're simply just gonna go down here and select create. Then what that's going to do is it's going to open up this edit tab here. You can go over here to your folder select all of your media and then click and drag that over here to where it says import media to start. And that's going to import all of your media into Premiere Pro as well. You can also do this by double clicking in this project table here, navigating to your folder, and then just go ahead and select all of your media and then just click import. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video, edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.